Hello everyone, welcome to Engine Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider the concept of uh, finding DFT. The sequence x of n is given as sine 2 pi divided by capital N into k naught n. So this is x of n. The task is to find its DFT x of k. So before I proceed uh, finding x of k with the formula, uh, let me uh, rewrite x of n in terms of its twiddle factor. So how do I do that? For that, I should know the concept from Euler's rule. Euler says that sin theta is equal to e to the power j theta minus e to the power minus j theta divided by 2j. So this comes from the Euler's rule. So now what I do is I'll make use of this and I'll simplify x of n further. I'll rewrite x of n in terms of exponential term. So here e to the power j in place of theta I have 2 pi divided by capital N into k naught n minus e to the power minus j theta. So in place of theta I have 2 pi divided by capital N k naught into n. So this is what I have. So this gets divided by this gets uh, divided by 2j. Is that okay? So now so I'll write it as 1 divided by 2j into bracket. So this term what is e to the power j 2 pi by n? For this I make use of the twiddle factor the concept of twiddle factor wn is equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N. So this concept we already know it. So now I'll replace it. Uh, what, what do I have now? I have e to the power j into 2 pi divided by capital N. So now I can write this as wn. But is that exactly equal to wn? No. Why? Because negative sign is missing. So if you look closely negative sign is not there. So this must be wn to the power minus. What I'm left with? I'm left with k naught into n. So then I have minus. So look this term very closely. So I'll just use a different color. e to the power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N. What is that equal to? It is very much equal to wn, that twiddle factor. So I'll write it as wn to the power k naught into n. Is that is that okay? So now uh, this is in the reduced form. I can use this uh, to find the uh, to find a DFT of x of k. DFT of x of n is uh, represented as x of k. For this, I have the formula which states that summation n equal to zero to n minus one x of n w n to the power k into n. So now in place of x of n I have got this. So I will substitute and let us see what, do I, uh, what I am going to get. Summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 in place of x of n I have got 1 divided by 2j into bracket w n to the power minus k naught n minus w n to the power k naught into n this gets multiplied with w n to the power k into n. So next, it, this looks like summation of a minus b can be written as summation of a minus summation of b. So for that, I will take 1 by 2j completely out. I am left with summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 w n to the power minus k naught n gets multiplied with w n to the power k into n. Is that okay? Minus summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 w n to the power uh, here I have plus k naught n. So this is k naught n gets multiplied with w n to the power k into n. I hope I am clear here. So next moving in the same way 1 divided by 2j here I have summation 
n equal to 0 to n minus 1 w n to the power. So in these two terms I can take n out. What I am left with? I am left with k minus k naught. So n is taken out. Is that okay? Minus summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 w n to the power. So what I have to take out? I have to take n out again. I am left with k plus k naught. This gets multiplied with n. Is that is that okay? So in the similar way again, what is this going to be? In this expression, in the first term, if I put k equal to k naught, what I'm going to get? If I put k equal to k naught, this turns out to be w n to the power zero. What is w n to the power zero? Anything to the power zero is always one. So that is nothing but summation n equal to zero to n minus one. 1 equal to what? So this comes from the geometric series. I know that this is equal to n. Is that fine? So this result is standard result. I should know. I should be aware of this thing. So this is equal to n. Under what condition? Under the condition when k equal to k naught. Is that okay? So let me write the answer. Simplified answer. 1 divided by 2j into bracket. So I got, I said it is equal to n. Under what condition? Under the condition when k is equal to k naught. But if I write it in this way, it doesn't look that good mathematically. So what I do is, I'll try to rearrange it in a different way. Such that, I'll write n, I'll multiply this with del of k minus k naught. So what is this del of k minus k naught? Del is nothing but unit impulse signal, which exists only at 0. And its amplitude is going to be 1. Is that okay? So if I put k equal to k naught here, it is, it becomes del of 0. What is del of 0? Del of 0 is 1. Ultimately, I am going to get it as n. Is that fine? So, if k is not equal to k naught, uh, this impulse signal turns out to be 0 and entire thing will become 0. So, that condition is satisfied. Hence, I can write this as n into del of k minus k naught. Similarly, minus this wn to the power k plus k naught. In this expression, if I put k equal to minus k naught, this turns out to be wn to the power 0 and uh, it becomes 1 and summation of that 1 is nothing but n. Under what condition? Under the condition when k is equal to minus k naught. Is that, is that fine? It looks okay, but I cannot write it mathematically something like this. So I can, I have using impulse signal, I can write it in a much better uh, way. So I'll write it as del of k plus k naught. Is that okay? So if k becomes minus k naught, this turns out to be del of 0. Under that condition, it will be equal to n. And if k is not equal to k naught, then the entire thing becomes 0. And it turns out to be uh, n into 0 is 0 again. So both the conditions are satisfied. So ultimately I can write x of k something like this. 1 divided by 2j into bracket n into del of k minus k naught minus n into del of k plus k naught. So this is what uh, dft x of k of the given signal x of n which is equal to sine 2 pi divided by n k naught into n. So I have explained and I have solved this numerical step by step. So hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them in the comment section. I will definitely answer those comments. And meanwhile, subscribe to the channel Eng Classes for more interesting videos on digital signal processing. Thanks for watching.